Good morning, class. Today we'll be learning about recycling. Does anybody know what recycling is? No one knows? Well, recycling is reducing waste before it can be produced. Let's open our books and read pages 766 to 781. Well then, let's go show some examples of recycling. Let's go to the local construction site where the air is polluted due to manufacturing. Okay. Wait, no, what are you doing? Cars um, going to local construction site. Well, cars give off so much exhaust that it can seriously damage our health and environment. Well, I guess we can just walk. Good idea. So this is our construction site? Yes it is, and can anyone tell me how this site may affect our environment? It produces runoff that contaminates our water. It causes deforestation, which affects natural processes. It deposits chemicals into the air. Yes, chemicals like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide, which can seriously damage your heart and lungs. Luckily, the Environmental Protection Agency has created the Air Quality Index, which is an index designed to alert us if of the air quality. It's so loud, it must be so stressful to live around here. Isn't all that unnecessary noise called noise pollution? Yes it is, and noise pollution is just as harmful as air pollution. Well, how do we stop all these types of pollution? How can we control manufacturing from hurting our environment? It's tough, but you can be an environmental advocate by doing many simple things at home, like conserving energy and resources. Like, un like turning off your lights? Or unplugging electronics when you aren't using them? You're right, and all these ways can help save money. Let's go see what manufacturing is doing to our water. Oh, yeah. Yucky! It is true. This is what's happening to our water. Our water is being contaminated by trash and pollution. All this pollution and runoff is ruining our water, environment, and our own health. Wow, it's really nasty here. Who do you think put all this trash in the water? We do, because we may not have recycled it properly. Yeah, what are some examples of recycling that you can do to prevent this from happening? Uh, using reusable cloth napkins. Using plastic containers instead of plastic Ziploc bags. <laughs> Using refillable water bottles? Yeah, that's important because the Container Recycling Institution said 70% of all soda and water bottles do not get recycled. Let's head back to the classroom to discuss about the ways we conserve electricity and resources. So what are some other forms of recycling and conservation? Using fluorescent light bulbs instead of regular ones conserves electricity. Why do you have a fluorescent light bulb with you? Why don't you? Using canvas bags instead of plastic bags? and unplugging unnecessary electronics? Yeah. And remember, kids, our own health depends on how we treat our Earth. Okay, time, class, time to go. Don't forget your homework. <laughs>